Hello, fellow fabric collectors and sewing enthusiasts. We are back on Sloth and Dorcas channel. Welcome. Today I'm going to be doing something I haven't done before is a fabric haul video, um, which is much needed because I've acquired quite a lot of fabric during March. If you've been watching my previous videos, you know I've had a bit of a problem with my sojo. It, it went away somewhere and instead of it, I have had a severe case of fabricitis. Fabricitis. It's, it's a real condition. If you don't believe me, look it up. So, <laughs> the fabricitis, um, very serious. Um, I've acquired a substantial amount of fabric from five different fabric suppliers. That's a fancy talk for I went shopping in five different fabric shops and I've got a lot, a lot. So I'm sure you're going to love this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with the largest batch, which is the rainbow fabrics. Rainbow fabrics, fabric number one, viscous jersey. Um, I love the large prints. It's really large scale. Um, I didn't have anything particular in mind when I was buying it, as I do, or as I don't. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe like a maxi, like a maxi dress, because it would be a shame to break up this pattern. Um, I'm going to bring it up close for you. Um, yeah, it's lovely, really good quality. Um, rainbow fabrics are dead stock and ex designer fabrics and stuff like that. So, fabric that would otherwise go to landfill and not necessarily get recycled, but would get like rotting in a landfill. Um, instead, rainbow fabrics are risking these and giving them the second life. So, and obviously they are brand new, <laughs> they haven't been used, but um, there are quite a few gems in there. So anyway, very nice, quite happy with that. Um, and yeah, I do have quite a big, quite a large length of it. This one is black floral. This one I actually bought with a, a jumpsuit in mind. Um, I think some sort of maybe, I don't know, Sirocco, but I have another jumpsuit I got from Vicky Sews, um, which is quite cute. Again, really nice quality. This is the back. It's a little bit creased, but um, that's because I've already washed them all and ironed or not <laughs> in this case. So yeah, quite a lovely, lovely viscose jersey. So there you go. That's fabric number two. It's quite casual. So I've got um, Modal or Modal, Modal, this is lovely, like a dark stormy grey colour um, and it did come, obviously because it's a rescue fabric, it did come a bit damaged so um, I've been gifted an extra like a metre and a half of it to make up for the damage. Um, you know, like things like that, very close to the salvage. Um, I don't mind that. Obviously, the extra bit was free. I bought 
oh gosh, I might think about four meters of this, four and a half meters of this, but I did get quite a lot of extra for free. So out of this fabric, out of this fabric, maybe I wanted to make some sort of like a light online trench coat. I love this color. And uh, the fabric itself is very beautiful feel, like quite silky. I do have to say that it does crease quite a lot. Let's just do a creasing test. So you can you can see where I've um, folded it already. But if we just do that, yeah. However, it's all natural. It's not natural, it's a man-made, but it's made from natural material. So, you know what, I don't mind that. And um, obviously, if it creases, it means that it's made of a superior <laughs> fabric, not polyester. So, I'll be wearing the creases proudly. Then, I've got black model as well. This one, um, I think I'm going to make some sort of black flowy black trousers, maybe palazzo pants. Um, again, it is going to crease quite a lot, um, but I'll just have to deal with it. It's very, very fluidy. It's not light. It's just black fabric. <laughs> I don't know, I'm putting an X in my face, but um, it has it's like a medium weight but not heavy it has very fluid quality to it I, I love this do you know what I haven't worked with Modal yet um, but I'm sure I will use one of his fabrics at least this summer and I will report back to you to let you know how it went so the next one is the only linen cut that I've got. It wasn't cheap. I think it was about nine, I think it was 9.99 or something or somewhere somewhere around that. Um, it's beautiful lilac color and it stretches widthwise, yeah? It has a little bit of kind of like a mechanical stretch which is nice and you know what it even stretches a little bit lengthwise very nice um again this is super creasy um i'm not using linen fabric at the moment i think because i do prefer fabrics with a finer finish you know so that you don't see the threads that are forming the fabric you only see like a smooth surface and with linen you obviously tend to see like the little pattern that threads form so however it is lilac <laughs> um, and I might use it for an upcoming project I actually have a collab upcoming in May so I might use it for that one. I don't know, we'll see, but you have to wait. I can't tell you anymore. The next odd one out is a piece of silk. And this one is actually Alice Temperley silk, 100% silk. I think it was under 10 pound a meter. Um, and again, you know, I do love the dusky pink and I do love the, spl the splodgy kind of pattern of it and purple who doesn't love purple and light grey all of these colors are like my colors um, and I quite like the way they put them together as well so this is a sh I think it's a silk let me just it's a silk chiffon which I worked with already in my previous collection I made um, a white wilder gown wilder top so it's absolutely stunning um, 
and a little see-through so if I just show you right but I could always line it um, I could always line it or if I'm making some sort of a dress I could position some of the um, pattern pieces like pockets and whatever over the um, controversial areas <laughs> obviously not the skirt I, I can't put the pocket in the middle of my skirt you know but <laughs> I'm not gonna go there um, but yes I could line the skirt anyway I don't know what I'm gonna make with it I honestly have no idea I just saw this I liked it and I have it that's good enough for me all right next one is is a stretch lace which was super freaking cheap and I think they still have a few meters left of it if you like lace go get yourself some because it looks like this and it's a coupon lace so it goes like this then it goes to this right and then it goes back to this again so it's like this could be your hem of your skirt or this could be the top of your dress or you know what because it stretches as, as well I thought I had three meters of it yeah it was something stupid like 239 discounted I'm sorry if there's not enough for everybody but whoever watches my videos first <laughs> will probably get some of this um, this fabric is so beautiful it just makes me happy I even unfolded it for you I even unfolded it for you so let me just bring it up to the camera looks like this it's quite a good quality it's very soft oh hold on this is the face All right you see it has a little bit of that raised like pattern on the flowers and then the middle looks like this again I have no idea what I'm gonna make with it I don't know but I think you'll come to me the design the pattern will find me and the fabric and we will live all of us happily ever after I think it's some sort of viscose viscose chalet it says but um, it's almost almost see-through but it's not it's like this it is super cute um, again the colors are very much remind me of like 1930s Kind of like a pastely stripe blouse I got two meters of this the odd one out um, and I think because I wanted to make a blouse out of it and you know I am harboring a an idea the idea is there for little 1930s capsule capsule wardrobe and this fabric I bought having that in mind and it is going to be a 1930s type blouse it would probably have a shawl collar and like a button up front I think and maybe like elbow length sleeve something like that but nothing set in stone so this is super cute I do love this next one I bought I think I bought four meters is again is viscous chalet it is slightly more substantial than the last one let me just see and it has a slightly warmer feel to it it's almost like the last one had a bit like a silk feel and this one has a little cotton cottony feel if you know what I mean I mean they're both viscose um, but this one is almost like a brushed feel um, it's really lovely very very 
warm to touch um, I got this with no particular pattern in mind um, but I want to make a set of trousers like a like a comfortable pants maybe some sort of elasticated waist and some sort of like um, maybe off the shoulder top or maybe like a short sleeve top or something like that that again could be worn together and separately with other things um, and you know I have a bit of affinity with animal prints and this is probably the most traditional animal print that I have in my collection because the other animal prints that I usually go for are either pink or turquoise or gold or have like cat heads inside of the, the little circles some sort of you know so <laughs> this is as traditional as it gets for me um, but again it's all my colors um, and for me animal print is a neutral so um, this is my basic fabric this goes a basic okay next animal print is more like what I usually go for <laughs> um, this is it again it's a viscous chalet and it comes comes as a pattern um, I think it has lines going through like a lines of patterns going through the middle of fabric I love the color as well so again I bought about four meters of this with the same idea as the previous one so it would have to be a top and a bottom I think was this one I will probably go for a skirt like a wrap skirt with a ruffle at the bottom um, midi length and then some sort of matching obviously top um, maybe even sleeveless I don't know but yes this is again something that the top could be worn with like white jeans and the skirt could be worn with white blue or even red or even any other light bright color then again I think I got four meters of this this is also viscose chalet is a slightly silkier feel than the previous one they're all gorgeous they're all beautiful um, so this one I actually did have something in mind like I said I'm, I'm playing around with the idea of 1930s collection and this would be my beach pajamas so really big big huge legs um, of the trousers and usually it would have an open back there's some gorgeous designs out there so yes so this is it this would be my <laughs> beach pajamas um, and because 1930s is very stripy like I don't think I would buy this fabric if I was thinking of making something modern because it's not me I would rather go for polka dots which is um, upcoming <laughs> just keep watching now this fabric is also viscose Shirley it has uh, like a golden threads um, running through it which looks stunning it looks so pretty however I have to warn you that they are prickly only on the face side so if you make a dress out of it and you wear it you won't feel anything but if somebody comes and like pats you on the back or she'll listen oh well done good for you they'll be like ah <laughs> yeah 
you stay away. <laughs> See my pretty dress? Just stay away from it. And me. So anyway, if you don't want to be touched, <laughs> okay, Elisa, don't force the jokes. Jesus Christ. It's not that type of video, it's a fabric video. All right. Anyway, prickly on the outside, but not on the inside. Super smooth on the inside. So it doesn't matter. If you're wearing it, just don't touch yourself. <laughs> If you're wearing it, just make sure that you have long sleeves so that your bare hands don't touch your sides. It's not too bad. Um, honestly, it's not too bad. It's like... It's just like... You know, have you ever been stung by nettle? That's what it feels like. Except that you don't have like the itchiness after. Or maybe you do, I don't know. Anyway, look, I love this fabric. I'm totally, I'm totally keeping it. Um, I think out of this one, I would actually make some sort of, you know, like so over it, cape dress, or better yet, um, like a um, Colette penny dress. You know, the 1950s kind of a vintagey button up like a shirt dress I don't know I think yeah it comes out I see if you pull hard enough you can just pull it all out so you know if one day you have nothing better to do um, you can just you know just pl pluck it you can pluck the fabric and then you'll have a beautiful white viscose chalet I think this fabric is super pretty, actually. And um, what do you think? Would you buy it? I probably didn't advertise it too well. I'm sorry. If I went to a shop and I touched it, I would still buy it. Yeah, it's not. It's not that bad. I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to be funny. You know, it's my thing. I'm funny. <laughs> nah. Okay, so we're moving on now to a viscose marocaine. So viscose marocaine is a lovely finish where viscose is more like a medium weight rather than lightweight. It's still very, very fluid, very flowy. So it still retains all, all those viscose qualities that we do like about it. But when you look at it quite up close, you can probably see the pattern of um, little wrinkles um, that actually permanently stay on fabric after it's been washed and ironed um, and it just gives it a little bit of that let me just show you a non-creased bit there you go you know um, you know I love this ghost marocaine I also love polyester marocaine I don't mind that um, because it's quite cool to the touch and I love I love that finish I think I only got like three meters of this one and um, again no idea what I'm gonna make with this one I mean it could be like it actually it could be 1930s like a flouncy like a day dress I totally see that in in this in this fabric yeah it could be if we're gonna get there Next one we've got, again, it's a viscose marocaine. Let me just bring it up close. I think it's a, yeah. Um, very pretty, beautiful pink and navy, like a sprigs of flowers. God knows what the flowers are, flowers are. So this one I've got, I think I got four. Why? I don't know. I think I might make some sort of like trench out of it because it is quite, it's quite like a, I would call it a medium weight. It's super silky and super flowy, but it's not, it's quite substantial, you know, like, 
yeah, I think um, it would go really well as a, a very light outer garment, like or something you wear over, you know, like if you have a blouse and a pair of jeans and it's summer evening and you just throw that on, something like to keep your shoulders and arms protected from the evening coolness. Then this one again, this goes American. I absolutely adore <laughs> polka dots and you know that anyway. Again, I got four meters of this one. And this one is in fact stretchy. So yeah. Can you see? Can you see it? It's stretchy. I could make a dress out of it. Um, and again, I could make some sort of a jacket and trousers out of it. Very lightweight. Um, just the way I love it. Um, or maybe I could make like a, some sort of like a suki robe, you know, from Helen's closet. Or um, Seamwork Quince also like a like a square jacket um i think i would make a quince out of it and maybe then could wear it even like a dress with a slip underneath this is my ultimate perfect neutral print fabric that literally will, will go with everything love this and the last fabric from um rainbow fabrics is my favorite one and the one that I wouldn't usually go for because again it's viscose marocaine um, I think it's a, it says it's a mix um, in the description but it does feel like pure viscose to me so I'm just gonna treat it as, as such um, I don't usually go for geometric print however I have a plan for this one and this one is going to be this one is also stretchy stretches across um, right up close look this one is going to be a large wide leg palazzo pants I think I got three meters of this one um, if I have enough left, although I doubt it, I think if I'm making a very wide palazzo pant and a long one, and for my height, I think three meters will just be about, about enough. Um, but if I did have any left, I would probably make some sort of open back, like a tie top that ties in the, on, on top in the back, and maybe it could double up as another beach pajamas if I wore it together I don't know but um yeah the geometric print is not really me but because it's going to be away from my face it's fine and it also has that like 1930s feel because of the colors and because of a pattern don't you think so that's rainbow fabrics done thank you very much right so moving on to the textile center i've only bought um quite modestly from the textile center for me because i've already had the three deliveries from the rainbow fabrics so the first one is <laughs> viscose chalet oh my god gorgeous quality i tell you this my little advice to you if you shop in on the textile center site and if you want a viscose chalet that is medium weight, like this, yeah, you um, go for a hundred percent spun viscose dress fabric that's what they put in the description and that's how you know for sure that you're going to get this because they also have viscose voile which is thinner which um 
is it really nice quality as well but it's not i think for the summer voile is probably better but um my favorite is this one because it's like a light to medium weight it's really quite lovely right so again if we look at this pattern is a neutral animal print in my world <laughs> so um, again for me this would be something like maybe a wrap dress LOD dress perhaps um, yeah something for the summer was a quite a simple pattern design lines and I do love the color as well so that's a winner now this fabric I only got one meter but that's because I've already bought three meters from Minerva of exactly same fabric last year so um, I was thinking that if I do my 1930s collection then this could be another beach pajamas so I could make a couple so with that in mind I only had three meters from Minerva and I thought that maybe it wouldn't be enough so I got another meter of this and again this is the that medium weight 100% spun viscose dress fabric that you want to go for gorgeous quality um, it doesn't stretch it has a tiny bit of like a little bit of mechanical stretch to it but it's not it's not there's no elastane in it so the colors again if I was buying this for a modern inspired garment I wouldn't go for these colors because this beige is a bit too dark for me but because I'm thinking like in my mind it's for 1930s that's the colors that they used so I'll be fine <laughs> polka dot love polka dot who doesn't if you don't love polka dot tell me in comments why or don't tell me or tell me and if you have any polka dots you don't want send it over send it over um next fabric is polyester it's polyester and it's been described as linen look fabric um and i was pleasantly surprised at how thin it's a linen look crepe that's what it is so if we just look at the imitation of that linen like a cross crisscross um threads um but as in fact it's quite a lightweight quite a silky fluidy lovely fabric this um it's quite, quite lovely and the color is um very nice light gray gray blue there's surely a word for it <laughs> which um it's not it's not on top of my head right now do you say that um but that could either go into my collection or not or I could just make a nice shirt dress out of it and just use like a modern design for it whichever way this is a super fluidy fabric and I'm sure I will find use for it for dress or flowy pants and the last fabric I got from the textile center is this black lace it's polyester I've been eyeing it up for a very long time right this is this is the front I've been eyeing it up for a while I don't know what's in it because after I washed it it went a bit curly maybe it is polyester I don't know but um I feel like I have to iron it before I cut it when I when I come to use it um it's corded lace let me just show you up close hold on a second right can you see hope you can see that it's really quite nice so it's corded lace and it's a surprisingly good quality although I shouldn't be surprised because 
the textile center they do have really good quality fabrics and the reason I got this lace is you know I was watching Mimi G's videos of what you know around the time she was getting married she made a set of lace jackets and like wide trousers but she made it out of white lace and oh my god it looks so incredibly chic i think i'm pretty sure she used some sort of vogue pattern for it i even probably could find the pattern number and in my head i always wanted to recreate something like this i'm not saying i'm going to use it to make to replicate that but i got I think I got four meters of this but yes I'm pretty happy with that then right so that's a textile center done so the next one right I wanted to try the fabric room literally for about two years and I finally went onto their website and I finally got something so I'm gonna show you I'm absolutely thrilled with what I got and I'm definitely gonna shop there again so okay I don't know what to start with they're all so pretty i got five fabrics first one is called i think some sort of like airflow something so it looks like this and it has just a little bit of like a little bit like a lot like a bumpy bumpy look about it and it's like really nice like a medium weight yeah oh my gosh it doesn't crease oh. <laughs> I love it um this I bought because I wanted to make again an idea of online trench or I could even make I have a favorite pattern of um, trousers that are like a culottes and it looks like a skirt when you're wearing it so I was thinking maybe I could make that um, but anyway I just wanted to test this type of fabric and it is nice again I've washed all these fabrics already I've washed them I ironed them I think I got four meters of this one they're not expensive they are not expensive at all okay so that's that then they have a small section of actual viscose fabric viscose marocaine fabric in planes i have to say they have loads of plain colors so this is it obviously the color is too obvious isn't it i mean i've already got linen <laughs> in lilac and um, so this one I think I got three meters off and it is so cute look how lovely and flowy it is um, I have to do this I'm sorry so just pretend I sat in the, in the car it looks like I sat in the, in the car but it's okay and it has a little bit of stretch it has a little bit of give oh, it has nice little give to it oh my I tell you what um, if you're making like a tight fitting top you will feel comfortable moving in it mm -hmm. right so this this piece is gonna get done this summer for sure um, and right so I was saying that um, the fabric room their specialty I was I would say is the plain colors many many different plain colors of different variety of fabric content so I wanted to try the viscose I'm very happy with it I will be buying different colors in this okay this fabric is called 
hammered satin I think again it's polyester and the colors of this fabric are just to die for like look at this this I think this one was called teal I think it's gorgeous I'm gonna bring it up for you to guys look at and it has this really lovely like a matte sheen to it um, and it's gorgeous like let me just find you a little bit of an edge right so oh my gosh so this is the back this is the back and this is just for you to see the difference this is the front and it has this gorgeous beautiful sheen to it I tell you what it's quite it's quite thin I cannot wait and you know what this fabric could be actually a perfect lining for something could be so chic um, I don't know if I'm going to use it as a lining but it is a possibility so I got this color and I also couldn't help it <laughs> but I also got this color it's the same one it's the hammered hammered satin I think look at this color how freaking gorgeous is this <gasps> again I'll bring it up from this one I would like to make a dress I'd like to make make some long shirt dress I think with a couple of ruffles is gonna look absolutely stunning and it feels like so cool against your skin I am super excited about these um, these fabrics I can't wait to try them out especially these hammered satins because for my for my taste this is like a perfect fabric it's lightweight it has a little bit of sheen to it but not too much it looks expensive and it's not it's not expensive it's not um, and there's like lots of different colors that you can get in yeah get in there I'm gonna put a link in the description Go check it out check it out and you let me know what you think <laughs> the last fabric I got from them from the fabric room is this absolutely stunning like a medium weight medium a substantial medium weight I think it's some um, satin back crepe and it is luxurious as it gets so this is the um, right side and this is the wrong side do you see what I'm saying so you can use both sides actually in one in one design how gorgeous is that and it is the same fabric that if you watched my first collection reveal um, I made so over trousers and hoya blouse um, from Dior and Doe from this kind of like a heavyish matte satin fabric and this is this is what it is I can't wait to use it yeah and it, it also it is a little stretchy so again it is quite stretchy actually this I think has elastane in it so this I'm thinking of making maybe like a midi bias cut skirt or maybe even straight like a pajama pant they can be worn like you know the pajamas that you wear outside um, like a pajama pant and top that are so luxurious like sleepwear for outerwear that sort of thing I haven't decided yet but it's definitely going to be a set of something and I'm so looking forward to making this and if it has buttons it would have to be like a gold like a golden pearls buttons or something something like that yes so that's the last fabric from the fabric room I don't even remember why I went to 
get myself some silk. So, Beckford Silk has all sorts of different silk fabric varieties, all different colors, mainly planes. Again, they can dye to match. I think they also do have patterned silk. It's not cheap, but I think as I'm moving into my handmade wardrobe journey, I have to start exploring more luxurious fabrics because if I'm making something to last me a lifetime, I might just as well invest into really nice expensive fabrics of the best quality that there is. And Beckford Silk might just be one of those places where you get those fabrics. So let me just show you what I got. So I've got three pieces of fabric. Um, first is a white silk organza. And this is not for any particular garment. It is just for the construction, you know, like you put you put it for reinforcements of the seams. It's super lightweight. Um, I think I used some of it to make like an ironing cloth because apparently it's like the best ironing cloth that you can ever get. Um, you can see through it. It doesn't burn, you know. Um, yeah, you can just like use it forever. And also white organza, silk organza, sorry, is used for things like bound buttonholes or welt pockets or anything that needs stability but no bulk. Silk organza is like used a lot in couture garments so I thought I need to get myself some couture stuff, you know. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not gonna rip it because it's very expensive. <laughs> it's not very expensive. I only got two meters um only got two meters of this i think it was something like 11 11 60 for just white i think if you want a different colors or organza they are more expensive they're about 15 pound a meter and it's only 90 centimeters wide so it's not full width as we used to fabrics these days but some um, at least i found somewhere i can buy silk organza because I've been looking for it for several years now and I, I couldn't find like a 100% organza for the price that I was prepared to pay for it but I think this is a perfect combination of exceptional quality and a good price why not then I got this silk Georgette <laughs> I only got one meter of it. I got one meter of it and it is gorgeous. It is stunning. Look at this. Look at the quality of this. Why did I get one meter of it? I don't know. Did I have any project in mind? No. I thought that I could actually use it to tie my hair. And in fact, um, talking about the 1930s, they, they wear loads of turbans and they wear loads of like headscarves. And turbans, unfortunately, I try different head wraps and they don't really suit my face. So headscarves, however, do suit me. So I thought what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a very tiny baby hem in it and I'm going to use it as a headscarf and I don't even have to pre-wash it. Maybe I just pre-wash it in like a warm water with a bit of soap. So that's it. So this is not for sewing with this time at least. I'm literally just going to probably use it as a headscarf. So that's number two. And then this piece is a silk habitat and it is again absolutely stunning, stunning quality and it's just so beautiful, so gorgeous for, to touch. Um, again, I got one meter of it 
and obviously the color choice because I love this color so this one I was actually thinking you know how you see these um, ads saying oh, we're making pillowcases out of silk and then your skin gets the best it can be and your hair like grows a mile and then you get your acne goes away the bloody blah 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 anyway I thought look why am I gonna pay hundreds of pounds for these pillowcases if I can just to make my own like a pillow cover or maybe even just something for my hair because my hair is quite it's quite fine and it's quite fickle you know curly so maybe it does rub against the cotton pillows and maybe it does get out of shape and loses its luster you know over the couple of days in between the washes and that so I was thinking maybe I could make a head wrap so I got silk bits for my hair that's what I went there for and um, but mainly because I wanted to just check out the quality and the quality is absolutely outstanding and the colors are super vibrant and gorgeous and I just love silk I think it's my new thing I think I started off with cotton lawn um, when I was obsessed um, then I moved on to viscose viscose chalet and viscose marocaine and now I'm moving on slowly but surely onto silk fabrics yeah it's not good it's not going any cheaper my taste is it um, but maybe that's what knowing more about fabric it just makes you like a bit of a fabric connoisseur I'm gonna go with that one anyway I can't believe we reached the end of this fabric haul it's exhausting just talking about it imagine washing and ironing drying and ironing and folding all these fabrics which I've already done so I log them in my Trello like a good girl so every fabric is logged and good to go so yes I'm going to wrap it up now thank you so much for staying with me I hope you enjoyed it let me know which one's your favorite I'm super curious to know and I will see you in my next video meanwhile you stay pretty. Bye.